Our next step is we're going to use a scroll saw to cut our pieces of wood in order for them to fit together to be a proper frame. Before you use a scroll saw, make sure you've been properly trained and you're aware of what you're going to do and you know what the hazards are involved in using a scroll saw. To properly adjust our scroll saw, I had to make sure it worked. To properly adjust our scroll saw, you're going to raise the guard just enough so these little fingers put some pressure on your material. This will keep it from jumping around and you losing control of it. There should be just the slightest bit of tension on there. We need to work carefully and slowly. We're going to turn the saw on. Make sure we keep our fingers out of the red zone directly in front of the blade. We're going to bring it in first and we'll make a preliminary cut. About halfway down, you can see the cut on this side. Watch where your fingers are at all times. We're going to make a second cut. We're going to work on removing this portion. So we're going to start and come in diagonally. And bring the blade down to the bottom of the cut. Cut up the angular portion. We're going to turn the piece of wood all the way over to this side, being careful where we are. Follow our along and finish the cut. Just like that. I need to do a small trim on this back side. There we go. I'll finish these other cuts off camera. We're going to move on to the cross member portion. Always turn the machine off before you make any adjustments or clear the wood from behind it. We're going to make an adjustment on the guard once again. We're only going to make marks on this. We're not going to make the cuts yet. We're going to raise the lever up just again so there's enough pressure. That will keep it from jumping. We're going to turn the saw on again and carefully just make our simple marks and then we'll disassemble these pieces and cut each one individually. Being careful where your hands are at all times. We've made that mark. We've made this mark. These are just for reference. That mark. I'm now going to disassemble these pieces and I'll show you to finish the cut. Once again, we're going to adjust the saw so it's probably set. A little bit of tension on your piece of material. Turn it back on. Again, be very careful where your hands are positioned. We're going to make our side cut first. Meeting up with the cut we made previously as our mark. Cut away the first area. Watch where your fingers are all the time. You need to move slowly when you approach the very center of the cut. Very careful when you're cutting small pieces. One more. We 
made out of three crossovers and our initial first cut on the frame. I'm going to cut the other two areas off camera. 